Hi, this is Caroline Pointer with ForYourFamilyStory.com. I'm back again with some more features of OneNote for researchers. Um, the first thing I wanted to go over is I made a demo notebook. And in that demo notebook, I wanted to show you that you can have the hierarchy is notebooks, section groups if you want them, and then sections. I skipped over section groups because I, I didn't need them. But that is part of the hierarchy. You can actually put those in and then you can go to it and then you can create a, a section under there or you can create another section group and you can just keep going on and on and then under a section you have pages and in the pages you can have sub pages so I can make this page a sub page of the first okay and I'll show that again also in my regular notebooks but I just wanted to give you that idea that you can, there's some more hierarchy that exists for um, the organization of a notebook. So let's go back to the actual notebook. Um, I did a little bit of cleaning up um, to it, and I'll show you that in just a minute. We have the one, th another thing that you can do is you can really get fancy and color your pages and to match your tabs. I did that but I didn't like it so I switched it back but you can do that just know. Um, you can also have uh, you can create a template. Going back to the demo here is my research plan and I just took out the word birth you know right here or marriage or death and just research plan four and then you can come over here to your new page and you see that little arrow the down arrow you click that and then you have page templates. Come all the way down to create new template and save current page as a template. Once you do that, it puts it in my templates. And that's the one I have. So if I go to a new section, I don't have to cut and paste. I just have this open and bam, I can put another one and put another section and bam. So isn't that cool? So the template is something you're going to want to think about. Not only can you do a template for a page, you can do it for a whole section, and you can do it for a whole uh, notebook. So it's it would behoove you if you're you're thinking about using this to organize that you can not only have a lot of hierarchy, but that you once you can also devise how your whole notebook's going to be and create templates for it because then you just have fill in fill in the blanks here. So going back again to um, the actual notebook that I've been working on for my project. There's a couple things I wanted to show you. Um, first of all, for to, to have all the function in OneNote, you're going to have to use Explorer. And I know I, I, I hate Explorer, but trust me, the functions that are there are definitely outweigh Explorer. Um, so when you're researching, you definitely have to use Explorer. Um, so let me give you an example of a web clipping. I didn't do that last time. Here we're under Alice Florence Vaughn. Let's say I've been researching diligently, which I actually do need to get to. And um, and I find this Texas Burst and Christenings Index and um, I want to clip it. I want the sucker in there. And so I go to OneNote and you go into Insert and you get Screen Clipping. It automatically goes to the page you were on. You just put a box around the stuff that you want and when you let go of the button bam it puts it into the note you can title it just put christening index and um, and you're good to go you, another thing let me show you we want to make this a sub page of birth because this is something that I'm going to have to follow up on to get the evidence of birth um, and right click it and make it a sub page under birth. So very handy. Uh, another feature is that if you're using MS Office and you have Outlook, you can, um, first of all, let me put a new page. You under Alice, uh, you can go to Outlook and let's say you have correspondence and we all have that uh, in email and we want to get this to OneNote so how do we do that easily we just hit the OneNote button and then we tell it we want it to go under Alice Florence the current page that's open we could do it anywhere but put it to Alice and again this is referring to actually obtaining those that Chris the christening information 
um, from the archives, the, the uh, Archdiocese archives. And uh, you can drag it up here, and then it automatically creates a subpage under birth. And um, that is so convenient. Um, another thing that's really handy is that, let's say, the, obviously there's other people listed on here. These are her siblings, and right now I'm not searching or researching her siblings, but I am getting her paperwork because they offered it. And um, but her, let's say Daniel was. See, he's referenced in here. Maybe we don't want the whole f note or the whole correspondence over there. We want to put a note to it. So let's say we've been wor working and we're trying to figure out his marriage, and then we go, oh yeah, his kids. Here's their listed baptismal and births. And their birth dates and their baptismal dates and maybe that will help us to uh, narrow down a date for marriage so we want to put a reference over here it's real simple you just put the you can put it anywhere you want to over here and you hit link and it says okay where do you want the link to, to uh, come from or go to and you want it to go into Alice and under Alice you want it to go to the correspondence and it already puts the the text up there to display you can change that if you want okay so then it creates a very nice you can actually put some notes here too with it but it creates a a nice link back to the correspondence under Alice so I hope you can um, see or begin to see how powerful those um, functions are a couple other things that you can do are that you can link notes from anything in OneNote um, with a side doc view. So let's say you're, you can do it in Word, you can be in PowerPoint, you can be um, in another OneNote page that you want to take notes of but you want the notes to be in another place in OneNote or a web page. So the way you would do that, there's a couple, well there's two different ways to take notes like that. One is called um, having linked notes uh, right here. So we can have link notes here, and it will automatically set them up in, obviously, OneNote. And it's saying, okay, where do you want to put the actual notes? And, um, and actually, you would want to start a new one, generally. So you would want to put the title, pick a page that's clean, and start taking notes for here and store it somewhere else for OneNote. You can also be in Word. And if you go over to review, now the document has to already be a saved document. Let's say you're reading some long, long document, a narrative that a distant cousin sent you, um, and you want to take notes. You can do link notes right here. You can tell them that you know you want to put it under Alice, and um, it creates a note for you. And you would write these notes. Yeah, blah. And what it's going to do is it's going, it's enabled. It's The linking is enabled. It's going to create a link back to this document to wherever you are. You can take more notes set way down, you know, below in another part of it. And it's going to, you'll see the word there. It's actually linking it to that. We can do another one. And they're linking them, but you don't see the link unless you're in the box. Okay, but wherever you are in the document, you're taking notes, it will take a link, make a link for you so that when you close this, it saves all that and puts it in OneNote under Alice, blah. And when you come over here to the box, it's going to have your link back to your document right where you were in the document, no matter where you were. It does it in context. So that is very handy. Again, you can do that in Word, you can do that in OneNote, you can do that in PowerPoint, and you can do it on the web. Um, and it will, but make sure when you're in the web that you're in, in Explorer. Um, you can also access the doc, the doc view through here, and it'll automatically put it out here. And since I had this document open, it's bringing up my notes that I already had. Um, but it does the same thing. It's very similar. And I'm not too sure why they did, 
did that differently. So getting back to ah, side notes, if you are, let's say you're an explorer or wherever, you're, you're doing research and you want to take some quick notes, you just want to take a list and this will not be linked back so you could actually be anywhere. You'd hit the Windows button and the letter N button and it comes up and you're able to take notes. You can do anything in this sucker. You can put jot notes, you can create lists, you can insert from website, tag notes, tags that integrate with Outlook like we talked about in the last um, tutorials, sketch diagrams, record audio. This is what I'm calling digital sticky notes on steroids because it does so much more to, to just say it's a sticky note is, is wrong. Um, once you, you can actually tell it through here to pages where you want it to go. You can move the page and, and tell it where to go in your notebook. Or you can go ahead and write it. You don't know, remember which one, where you want to put it. You close it and you go to OneNote you come over here, you see my cursor, come over here to this bottom right here, unfiled notes, and it's going to have put it in unfiled notes, and then you can move it around and put it where you need it later on. Very handy. A couple other things I wanted to talk about is um, you can record audio and video. Uh, when you are, I don't know, trying to talk yourself through uh, you know, your working hypothesis, maybe you, you would like to talk it out. You can capture that when you go into insert and you record audio or you can record video and if you have a built-in mic then you might not need um, a microphone but I don't know sometimes the sound isn't really good or you can do it by video if you have a built-in webcam and what it does is once you're done recording it will uh, create a box over here that will have um, you know, where you can start to listen to it. What, what's wonderful about it is you can drag that box or any of these boxes that are here, you can, up at the top, you can move them around wherever you want. And so everything that is put onto a page is put into a box, just like the link, that's a box. I can put that wherever I want to so it matches my notes. Same exact idea with um, audio recording and video recording. So you can match it up and put it right where you need it in your notes. Everything is OCR'd when you put it into OneNote, including, get this, recordings. The recording, the audio recording and the audio part of your video, it does take a little longer, but it will catalog every word. And then when you go to do a search, it will come up in search results. How cool is that? Um, so everything is, you know, any type of image that you have that has, you know, you take a picture of a document, it can be OCR, it's OCR'd. So that is a very powerful function. Um, tags, real quickly, um, tags, I talked about the to-do box, but there's a whole lot other, of other ones. You can also customize tags. I can see myself using this, like if I wanted to make, customize some tags for locations like Bear County or San Antonio or you know, Harris County, places where in general that I'm going to go and I'm going to need a list of, of stuff that I need to get from there. So I could actually customize the tags and put them you know, near the information that I need. And then I can go into find tags and you can look at it in different ways. You can set it up and it will give you all the ones that you've set it up for. And then you can create a summary page. So it gives you a list of things that you need to get in a certain area. That is cool. Um, you can email a page. Let's say you need to share this with another researcher. Then you just come up here and you email it. And it's very simple. As long as you have Outlook and you're hooked up, you're, you, you should be good to go. Um, sharing. You can share um, notebooks and with other people. And what's really cool is let's say some of this information involves people that are still alive and you don't feel comfortable giving that information. So you can right click on a section, only sections can be done. You can password protect sections so that when they, when you share the notebook, the only thing they're gonna get are the ones that aren't pass, uh, you know, they won't be able to enter into the ones that are pass, uh, password protected. So that is extremely handy. And this has been Caroline Pointer with FourYearFamilyStory.com. Thank you.